Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can have an image hovering between two index pages in your Brian Squarespace website. Now, if you're using the latest version of Squarespace known as 7.1, I have a completely different tutorial for you to create the same effect with sections. Check the link in the description below so you can check that out. But if you're in the older version of Squarespace using a Brian theme website, you're in the right place. There are two important parts of this code and I wanna show you exactly how they work. So let's hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site. I have three index pages here, this title one, the second index page, and then this third one that has the image in it. It's important to put the image in the third section so it can overlap these two. So I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. This is where we're going to paste our code. So this image itself, we can just use the generic image name SQS block image. And then I'm going to open up a curly bracket and say margin top negative 50%. That's gonna scoot the image up, but you'll notice it's hiding behind the other section. We've got another piece of code that we need to add. We need to say capital I index dash page overflow visible. That is going to make sure that the image, even though it's in a lower layer, is going to show up because it's overflowing into the other index page. Now, I do want to mention this term right here, SQS block image, will apply this code to any image. You're probably going to want to isolate the specific image that you want between the two sections. To do that, you can use the block ID for that image. Now, everything on a Squarespace website gets a unique block ID or block identifier, if you will. You can dig in the source code to find that information, or you can use the Chrome extension that I use. This is a free Chrome extension. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just use them in my own work, and a link to it's in the description below. But if you have this Chrome extension, you just click on it, and it will give you the block ID. So I'm going to click that. It's copied to my clipboard now. And instead of SQS block image, I'm going to remove that text. And then I'm going to paste the block ID right there, and the image will still stay hovered between those two sections. I'll select save and be ready to rock. I also want to mention if we take a look at the mobile version of this website, it's still pulled up over the mobile version as well. Alrighty, that's it for this super quick tutorial. A recap again, you can use the text SQS block image and then add a negative margin uh, to pull up any image that's on that particular page. If you want to use the individual block ID for a specific image, just use the Chrome extension or grab it from the source code instead of SQS block image. After that, just make sure you have the code index page overflow visible to make sure that that image is going to be visible above the other content set. Section. Okay? Awesome. The codes I just used are listed in the description below, so you can just copy and paste those into your own site and you'll be ready to rock. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.